start streaming. Okay. Um, can I pop out the chat? Okay. All right. Let's mute you. Um, how do I pop out the chat? Hmm. Okay, I will paste a link there. I will paste a link here. And I will paste a link there. All right. And hello, you can probably hear me. Um, let's bring up, so I have, I, I must give a warning. I have no idea um, exactly, uh, how do I, exactly how much like latency or whatever is gonna happen with this channel or with this, like, cause I just moved and I don't know what the upload is on this, uh, internet and also my computer is just freaking out right now so um, we shall see as long as my computer doesn't crash which it just did <laughs> um, Explorer just decided to crash so that's good everything's crashing oh, goodness all right I think it's still playing here Uh, yeah, the MIDI version. I mean, I didn't pay for the new version. I haven't played it yet, so... Also, I, I don't have, like, a lot of money. I'm not buying the big box version right yet, but if I enjoy it, I will. Um, okay. Let us bring up this window now. I'm going to exit Discord, too, just in case that might make any difference. Yeah, like I said, I just moved... Completely new setup. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea what like the upload is going to be like. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay, too. Looks like, the, oh, there's 14 people in the chat. Okay, cool. Um, let's get out of view. How do I just like pop out the chat individually? There's a button for it, and I completely forgot how to do it. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, well, we'll just do that. That's fine. All right. I'm going to turn down the volume of this a little bit. Oh, okay. It's only 666 for the soundtrack. I didn't actually see that. Okay, that's not too bad. Let me know if the volume levels are appropriate. Like I said, I'm I'm not 100% sure. Um, you know how everything's gonna work, but I think I'm just gonna get started. Why not? Um, I'm not really clear exactly what the difficulty level of this is gonna be. If it's like more slaughter mappy. I mean, probably not, I assume so. It's probably just going to be like a new episode, but usually new stuff I play on Hurt Me Plenty, so I'm going to do that. It might be easier than other episodes, but we'll just, for now, we'll say Hurt Me Plenty is good. Alright, and let me know if there's a lot of, like, dropping frames or anything like that. I tried to lower down the bitrate, but who knows how these things are going to go. If, if there is, like, serious drop frames and all that stuff, then let me know and I can... I can lower the resolution or something like that. Okay. So, I am going to... Before I kill this guy... So, I, I wanted to say... So, I haven't played this. I have seen some levels on streams. I'm going to pause this for one little second so that I can... not have stereo of myself. Um, let's bring you up over there. All right. Uh, Dominic White says, Hurt Me Plenty is pretty standard difficulty for classic Doom. 
Nothing as mean as E1M4. Okay, well that's good to know. That's good to know. E1M4, a famously mean map. <laughs> um, all right. It's on pause. So what I wanted to say is this beginning actually makes me think of Memento Mori. Um, both one and two, I think, have this like kind of satanic star right at the beginning of the first map. And I'm not sure if John Romero, I assume that he had played those maps. And I don't know if that's an intentional reference, but it is interesting to think about like if he is indeed referencing those uh, those wads. I wouldn't be surprised, but you don't. I mean, I I don't know. Okay. So I was trying to. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. What I've seen of this so far, it definitely like. It's familiar, it has a familiar feeling. It feels like Romero's maps, but obviously like the detail level is higher. Um, it's not really something that I would imagine seeing um, if somebody like was just gonna like, I'm gonna make a Romero style map from Doom 2. Obviously there are some things about the style that have changed um, from what I can tell. And also he's using the, you know, um, he's not using the vanilla Doom limits. This is an interesting little puzzle thing here. So, there's probably some secret with that going on. I'm sitting in a vaguely uncomfortable position, so we'll see how well this continues to work. I might sit back a little bit, actually. Move the microphone back a little bit. Alright. Oh my god. And immediately fall in the lava. Yeah, I don't normally stream. I was doing Doom streams a little more frequently when I was in Portland, um, but for whatever reason in LA when I lived there, I didn't really stream at all. I think streaming just makes me anxious, but I've been curious to play Sigil and I kind of wanted to wait to play it on a stream. Um, so if I'm a little rusty, uh, is there a chance the VOD will go up on YouTube later? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely upload it. I am saving this video too. I don't, and I might only stream for like half an hour. I don't know if we'll get through all of the episode. We'll see. I'm just kind of testing the waters right now. But yeah, let me know if there's any major hiccuping or anything weird like that. I, I noticed a little bit when I tested earlier, but I lowered the bitrate, so that might make a difference. Oh, wow, that's a really... Uh, Baphomet Demesne. Demesne. Okay. So I had not seen that level at all uh, before. So this level I had seen um, when he streamed Sigil. I watched a little bit of it. But things might have changed. And I know Romero has a habit of like... This is an interesting little... Okay. Um, Romero has a habit of... Um, designing the first level last. And that really just seemed like a little intro. Maybe not even a, really a complete level. Um, so that's interesting. But it seems like we're getting into the meat of things now. Let's actually make a save. Uh... Actually, it's level 2, whatever, because this is Doom 1, not Doom 2. Yeah, these midis were done by Jimmy, uh, who did, who leads the Joy of Mapping project, which I, my first completed map was for the recent Joy of Mapping, the one that happened over the holidays. Um, we'll see if there's another one sometime this year, but I definitely want to do more Doom Mapping. It was a really fun experience. It was, like, overwhelming. Um, but it was a really fun experience. It was overwhelming just because I, I really like crunched those three days to get something done, and I think probably a little bit bigger of a scale. I felt like I, I had something to prove because I've done Doom stuff for a while and I've never made any Doom video or like completed Doom maps, so. I 
wanted to prove that I could do something pretty good. And I think I did. I think I was successful. I mean, the map is pretty incoherent, but I got a lot of interesting things in there. Okay, so this is interesting. He's using, like, the green marble hell that seems to be cons pretty consistent, mixed with red. So we got Christmas colors going on here. He likes this, um, uh, moving wall... I don't know, like, well of souls kind of texture. I Is this texture only in Doom 2? I think it's in Doom 1 as well. I can't remember. So it's obviously a more hell-themed episode in general. And um, we got a Baron here, so that's our first Baron. I'm just gonna grab this and run past him since I... Okay, that wasn't very good. Oh my god. Wow, that's damaging. That is... That is 20% damaging lava right there. Jimmy also headed up the Adventures of Square, and it'll probably be like 2020, 22 before we see episode 3. Yeah, I was, um... Uh, I was on a little stream with Matt Tropiano, uh, with, uh, JP LeBreton had on his channel, and he was showing parts of Square. I've seen parts of Square, but I hadn't fully played it. Um, a lot of the episode 2 levels in particular looked interesting to me. Ah, I remember him picking up the secret on one of the streams, so that's a nice little secret. When I was recently doing Doom 2 videos on, I did a video on the chasm, and there's like one secret that everyone always misses that's like, uh, right to the left of the wall of the first area, and I totally missed it, I totally forgot about it. Alright, let's try this again. Cool. Is there anything that I'm missing over here? No. Oh my god, okay, I don't- wow. Good work. Like I said, I'm still getting into the hang of things streaming, and I'm kind of sit sat awkwardly right now. Actually, let me move this up that way. Maybe this will be better. I could always turn the volume up, too. My mic isn't directly in front of my face, so it's a little far away. Alright. Here we got some health. This, like, little sort of cubby holes revealing themselves. There's a thing. Oh my god. There's a little area of E1M8B that he made that was kind of like, you know, they were just like. gradual, like, little cubby holes sort of revealing themselves. Um, This definitely has sort of the um, the living end style, like it's in sort of a box, um, and then you're walking a around catwalks and stuff around it. And this I always associate with um, some of the uh, levels in Doom 2, like the industrial zone, um, or the tenements I think has an area with this like wood, he uses this wood a lot. Must have been strange to like come back to all these textures after so long. Okay, I will definitely need that. So we got a cacodemon. Let's see if we can get some infighting going here. Out of my face. Okay, more infighting, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you for infighting. I don't want to fight no Baron with a, a freaking... Oh my god. The freaking shotgun. Hopefully he's taking some damage now. One does not simply go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Baron from Hell when you only have a shotgun. Just not a very good idea, but we'll do it just because he's annoying. Okay. Oh, another Baron. Okay, let's pick up this. Got another. Oh, wow. Okay, that's the end of the ma that map. 
cool. Cages of the Damned. Wow, that was a short map. Damn. I'm gonna have to turn up the brightness on my monitor for this. Cheating. I want to do more streams, especially like now that I have a new setup here. Assuming that I'm having no like major streaming errors. I haven't been looking, but... Like, um, just because I haven't done it in a while and it'd be nice to do something like that. But I think I always get like freaked out on streams. Just like all the potential things that could go wrong. I worry that I'm gonna like stream for two hours and no one can hear me or you know things silly things like that it's like wow why did I do that okay this is obviously supposed to be pretty dark can't reach that so another this reminds me of like the industrial zone there's like a wood area and like little pathways around here or like E1M7 um, where you're like looking into different parts of um, different parts of the map. So where are we supposed to go here? I, I haven't seen this square lighting before. It's it's not bad, although I'm not like a huge fan of it, honestly. When I see like... I mean, it makes sense, like from a reality perspective, but I, I, I don't know. Um, uh, he, okay, so this is like the design language that he's establishing is that those eye things are pretty much always going to be switches, which is interesting. So he's he's kind of he's kind of coming up with a new sort of uh, design vocabulary for this set, which is yeah, that's interesting. Okay, I like this beginning here. Yeah, and so we're immediately here so we can look through there. Let's save before I forget. I like these midis, by the way. Jimmy did a good job. I mean, I'm sure the Buckethead soundtrack is, is very nice, but I'm perfectly willing to listen to some high quality midis. And, you know, like Jimmy and some other people from Doom World, um, what's their name? Oh god, I, why do I always forget their name? Yakfak. Other people who like are really work well within the limitations of that format and can make something that still sounds really good. I admit I don't always like play with um, the music on, or sometimes I just like play Doom with like a podcast or other music on just because I want to chill out. But I like how all this stuff is revealed here. By the way, it's um, so this has been using space pretty well right now. This, like, reveal has been really interesting. Probably my favorite of any of the three maps so far. Even though there was some cool architecture in the last map. The way that this is sort of revealing himself. And you see this, like, craggy texture. I always associate it with, like, E4M6, um, some levels in Episode 1. Um, it's a, I, I think it's a really good texture, this cave rock texture, personally. Was there a med kit back here that I missed somewhere? Well, if it is, it's in the pool of blood, so we'll just forget about it for now. Okay, so you're having to like snake around these. I wonder if there's any secrets that you can get by jumping over here. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't know how to get back out of there yet. So we're gonna be careful. It looks like you can get that one. I love this. I love this kind of lighting is really cool. And against the green mar the green marble is a really appropriate texture for um, a sort of more elegant, you know, dark cathedral setting. It's a really, it's one of my favorite textures too. It can get overused, but in like the right setting, it's really cool. I like marble in general. I like the idea of like elegant, classy hell. Especially when it's mixed in, like, he's going with the red and green and then some of this wood texture. There's definitely some of the metal trim that he always does, but it's not as, uh, not as, like, emphasizing the metal textures as a lot of the, the Doom. I don't know, that might be a unique texture to Doom 
too, although I don't think that it is. I don't think that it is. It might be, though. Maybe the one he usually uses is, actually. Okay, I don't need that. We got another pack of demon over here. I don't need that berserk pack right now, but I'm gonna, like, make sure to remember that so that I can come back for it. The health has been, like, at, for me as, like, a player for the first time, it feels like the health has been very well balanced. I mean, I haven't f fell into a pit or anything yet, though, so... Okay, we got these, like, passageways over here. Okay, now this area... We can go into. The thing I like about this craggy rock texture is it, it suggests more detail than is actually there. So you can kind of, it feels like an outdoor area just by virtue of the fact that like, it's the fact that like, this is a more detailed texture, but it kind of is something abstract enough so you can sort of project onto. He isn't doing as much as contemporary, like, Doom modders like to do more rough shapes, and there's a little bit of that going on here, but, like, here, for example, you don't see that. So that's interesting. I think it's one of those things that you kind of... Um, the, the details there to kind of... Uh, are there so that you don't have to do super complex shapes here. Um, but obviously, it's cool. It's cool when you can do more cave-like shapes, and it, it adds more of a sense of detail. I like. I love this here, dropping down into this. I'm not sure if this is going to be a point of no return. So what we can do is maybe go back here. Oh, well, let's not do that. Okay, I'm just gonna save here, and we'll see. Let's just run. Cool. Yeah, that is very cool. That's a cool set piece. Having that drop there is very nice, too. Alright, it seems like we might have to go here. How do we get out of here? Please tell me I'm not stuck. Hey, Nina! Thank you for thank you for watching. And it, uh, Nina streams a lot. Oh, here we go. Um... Yeah, it's interesting how that eyeball thing is basically a switch now. I wonder if, like, <laughs> you can make your own, like, you know, mega wad where, like, these are switches or these denote that, like, a platform goes down or something like that. Sort of recontextualizing all these goofy dex decoration textures, or objects, rather. Oh my god, okay. I have to fight this guy with a fucking shotgun. I like that he's coming out through the cross like that. Evil is being unleashed. Okay, we're gonna run over here and not get hit, and I got hit. Alright, there we go. Oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> I wish I had gone back. Let's, for the sake of this stream, let's go, let's go back a little bit. Let's, um... Because that was actually a point of no return. So let's go back and see if I can get that little secret over there. Doesn't matter that I'm taking damage here because I'm going to pick up a Berserk. Uh, uh, although maybe not that much damage. Okay, let's try this. I just haven't gotten any secrets yet, so... Okay, fuck off. Alright, let's do this. There we go. And we got another little thing here, so that's good. We can explore. I don't know why I just saved again, but... Okay, yeah, and there's teleporters right here, so that's really nice and easy. Okay, cool. And then we can go back through this passageway. So that was a nice little secret. There's still four secrets. Because this is my first time playing this... Um, oh, you would hope that that was a secret. That would have been cool. Because this is my first time playing it, I'm not going to like look for every secret, but that was a, a very much needed secret, so I'll take it. Oh, and we got rockets. I'm sure there's a place to pick up the rocket launcher somewhere in a secret that I missed because I've not been being very observant at all. Oh, wait. Here we go. Excellent. And you can come right back out. Okay. 
I just wasn't being observant. And this is a perfect time and place to be able to use the rocket launcher for a first time. It's like a straight hallway that something is coming out of. Um, and it's Baron who is perfect for using a rocket launcher on, so that's a nice little ending there. Big metal music video vibes in that last room. Yeah, totally. I mean, that's like the aesthetic of Doom in general, really. Okay, this is another map that I remember seeing on the stream. I think this map looked pretty neat. What I like about it is he's doing... Okay, let's not get shot. What I like is he's doing these like jagged lines here, so it sort of feels like... Does this hurt you? Oh, okay, I'm just getting shot at. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Um, where, where am I getting shot at from? This three different pathway reminds me so much of like a particular area in the living end, which I'm probably about to do a video about. Um, so stay tuned for that on my YouTube channel. Um, the Living End is map 29 of Doom 2, uh, and it's by John Romero. And one of the most famous Doom maps, I would say. But yeah, this reminds me a lot of that. But I like this craggy thing, like the, you know, why wouldn't the lava be eating away at this marble? marble? Like, even though marble is a pretty hard, you know, sturdy thing, like, it, it's lava that we're talking about here, so. I mean, you would instantly die if you fell in the lava, but still, it's a nice, like, detail. It gives more of a sense of, like, atmosphere to the level. You've got, this lighting is very nice here. Uh, there's some, like, varying levels of darkness. You get some just from the lava, because that would be illuminated, right? But also you get some from these torches. Uh, and then he's using these hanging th bodies, too. But in a way that it's not, like, too distracting. So that's pretty cool. And you see some more shadows and lighting here, like the lava is giving off some lighting. Um, although this is not, which is kind of strange to me, but it it does make it look more visually interesting. Okay. I like these skull stairs, by the way. I've always been a fan of them. So this is kind of like... Uh, it's like a crumbling castle, c crumbling facade type setting. I like this a lot. Probably the most of any of the the past three levels so far. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite in terms of like aesthetic and setting so far. I mean, I love the green marble and also this texture. And I like it when you're sort of walking and uh, different places sort of reveal themselves. You can see the more structured areas right here um, jutting out of, you know, these more cave, abstract cave um, areas. Much more... Okay, we got a little thing here. And as we know, that's a switch. Yeah, that's a cool little design language that he's using there. Because... Um, you know, there's never any consistency with rules with what does what in Doom, but if you're doing the same, if you're doing a set and uh, you follow the same rules and you consistently sort of make the player have to be able to use those things, then they will pick it up. It's just a matter of like teaching people that that means that, and and that's what you're supposed to do. It's harder in Doom because like you know, so many different things are used for different contexts. Um, but the fact that he's doing all this precarious walking too means that it it, it is great uh, invitation to find secrets here um, that don't feel cheap or whatever. So that's a nice little little thing. And there's like flow to this in spite of the fact that it feels like craggy uh, and a little more abstract. It's not like this pure abstract flow. There's a little bit more of a roughness to it, which is appropriate for the environment that we're in right now. It feels more hell-like. This is a nice little walkway here. And it doesn't just stop here, like it keeps going. Let's see where we're going here. Okay, it drops down. Yes, uh, Romero definitely loves doing these like jutting out um, key things instead of uh, a typical like, you know, bars around it sort of setup. I like this as the back wall for a teleporter, by the way. It's the blood teleporter. The skin teleporter. The bloody skin teleporter. Let's just shoot this guy to, to be cheesy. 
It'd be way more cheesy if he was like a archfile or something. Hi, Lofi Slow. Lofi Slow? Lofi Slow. And the fabulous J. Um, I love how the textures blend the selectites into the walls. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't have to do like straight, because a lot of people will just do straight up hanging stalactite textures, but they always kind of look like doofy. Um, so it's actually better to kind of work with what you've got. And this, the structures are generally more square here, like they're more um, assertive, I guess you could say. Uh, they make a larger impression on you than just kind of some of the excess detail that sometimes uh, modern mappers do that are a little silly because they don't... They just kind of add clutter without adding something interesting. So I'm glad that I went there. Apparently that was a good place to go to begin with. Let's see if I can make this. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay. I am not going here. Nope. We're not doing that. So that's clearly the walk of shame over there. Oh, we got these little, little tiny steps here. This, like, can make terrain feel interesting without it, um, and kind of different without really doing anything substantial. This texture is such a workhorse right here, this, like, metal texture on the side. You can texture it with anything, really. It can be overused, but I, I like it. I mean, I think it works well, and I think that's why Romero uses it all the time. And you see it a lot in... Okay, there's a secret here that I'm missing. This is a general Doom language thing of if you see a candle on the ground to step on it, because it usually will open up some sort of secret or something like that. Not always, but oftentimes anyway. I have a rocket launcher. There we go. Okay, I think I already opened something up with that. Here we go. So that looks like it's some sort of lift there. Okay, we gotta kind of peek into what I assume is a, like a crushing ceiling. I feel like the level design in the first Tomb Raider is like exactly influenced by this now that I see it. Well, I guess <laughs> you mean in Doom in general, I assume. But yeah, I, th I think Doom like level design was very influential. Obviously this is from like this year, but um, Romero's like design style is pretty consistent here. Ah, uh, here we go, crushing ceiling. I've seen this part. So I'm very glad that he used the crushing ceiling because we don't see it enough. Like Doom modders won't use it enough because it's just seen as annoying, but I love these kinds of hazards. Okay, let's try not to die and we're going to die. All right, well, that's just an example of what could happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Now where do I actually need to go? Okay, this doesn't seem like it really goes anywhere. I guess we'll find out. Ah, okay. Uh, wow, I did not get crushed there. That's impressive. Okay, I opened something up here. So he's clearly in the, like, mode of kind of opening stuff up as you walk. Alright, let's see if I... I like this music a lot, actually. I think Jimmy did a good job. Okay, looks like I hit something here, because I saw the wall go up. Let's save before I get crushed again. Ah, here we go. Cool. Very treacherous. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so this goes back over here, too. And you can hit that. And that gives us a nice little secret. Ah, and he gave us a little peek into this area, too. Like, revealing the tech walls sort of behind the, uh, behind everything is always an interesting Doom secret thing. There's a lot of secrets in Doom, uh, E, uh, 2, M2. Um, by Tom Hall that has that. And here we have more of a tech wall area. Um, Uger Ketty says, wow, he still makes levels for this game? That's cool. And uh, Epio says, yeah, he's been back into it the past couple of years, which is super cool. 
Nina, hentai PhD says, haha, yeah, sorry, doing something so chatting slow, but I mean like Doom LD style in general. Yeah, level sign. Um, yeah, he started doing, I guess, I don't know, I think it was 2015 or 2016. He made E2M1, or sorry, E2M8B and E2M4B, which are replacing maps that he did not make in the original first episode. Uh, and the whole idea was this this was kind of a uh, precursor to his game that he had kickstarted at one point and while wow, I'm dying here let's not do that um, called uh, black room not to be confused with another game called black room that was uh, won an IGF award by Cassie uh, McCorder which is also very good um, but I think this was supposed to be sort of a rehearsal for that um, him getting back into doing like, you know, FPS style level design. Um, all right. But I mean, it just even as itself in itself. Wow, this is no mercy here. Even in itself, um, I think it's interesting. Okay, so these go up and down. This reminds me of. I think there's an area in either each. One M8B or E1M4B with lots of tech and platforms going up and down and stuff. So there's a little strategy because the timing is 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 not always. Sometimes it's delayed whether you can get back up or not. So it changes like the timing of this. Just adds another little hazard there. Okay, little bit of a teleporter that's broken, so that doesn't work anymore. See, that's funny. In other, like, Doom wads, that might mean that, oh, you can open something, you can go through that even though it's a broken teleporter, but here you cannot. But it means that one time there was a functioning teleporter, and now I'm dying. <laughs> that's interesting. So it stopped once I went over here. Oh, and that restarts it again. Okay. I got it. It's a little puzzle. He's doing a little puzzle design here. So we want to stop it, let's see, there. No. Okay, this will help us. That's neat. Uh, there's nothing in the original Doom actually like this. So I, I want to be able to get over there, though. Oh, so close. Let's try this. There, oh fuck, okay. No! Uh, I just wanted to get on that platform. Okay, I guess that reactivated it. This is a neat little puzzle. Yeah, too bad Doom Guy can't crouch at all. Uh, is it me or have the releases been from Romero been more frequent in the past year or so? He had not done anything until uh, a couple years ago, when he, whenever he did Sigil, or sorry, not Sigil. Um, this is Sigil. Whenever he did E1M8B. No, 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 no! I'm standing here. Uh. Oh, fuck. What? Oh, there's a guy right here. So weird. Okay. Alright. We are back. What is over here? Nothing. I'm saving a lot. I don't probably need to be, but... Cool! That was a fun little area. Um, anyone who's watching who's not a big Doom fanatic, uh, definitely check out noendinsight.wad if you play any doom wads check out noendinsight.wad it's kind of in the original style um, and there were some hazards like that that I remember at there was a especially I think it was like E3M7 um, but there's really good design in that set um, sort of in the original style um, and it's con very consistently good I would say it's a little it's a little harder in terms of difficulty than this but if you want something that is kind of like the original doom but more contemporary uh, like after playing this or stuff or something I would check out no end in sight 
it's by Natural20 and uh, Zazer. 20 with two Vs for some reason. I did a video about one of the maps from it in when I was doing that those Doom mixtape videos that I was doing a while ago. Alright, so I might need to go to the center area. So let's just eat it. Yep, okay. That was very simple. Okay. Let's not get hit any more than we need to. Which is not at all. Uh, thanks for the recommendation, says Strawberry. Um... I'm interested in this whole world of Doom Wads and wasn't sure where to start. Um, uh, Hentai PhD says similar art direction too from this to Tomb Raider, probably just the style in general. Um, and Abstract Abstract Shea says yeah that area was cool. Sorry if I uh, the Tomb Raider style the, the Epio says the Tomb Raider style of ruins is pretty abstract, huh? I love the abstract weirdness of Doom stuff. Yeah, I think it's just the like the style of things of that era in general. Like if you play Thief One as well, like the Lost City is a level that feels very much like Tomb Raider and very abstract cave setting. They're working with limited um, conveyances, I guess you could say. So this is starting some sort of long lift here. Ah, here we go. Okay. So now we finally know what that is, so it's kind of nice that I opened that up last, actually, so you can access this for the first time. Not that I need to, but still nice. Okay, let's use our rocket launcher on this guy. And I'm still missing three secrets, but I haven't been doing very well on secrets, so... Alright, what have we unleashed here? I see a teleporter down there. Let's be a little bit more adventurous. I snipe a Kakadina. Okay. Sometimes, there's always, like, my favorite um, experience of this is uh, a map by Azmail, uh, who did a lot of alt.wad, which I wrote a huge piece about. Um, but this one is from a uh, level in the uh, Doom Wad called Sacrament. Um, where there's like, there's, it's kind of this situation where you can teleport back up, but there's one far away teleporter that teleports you to a secret. Um, and that's a common thing that I've seen, but that's one of my favorite secrets. Like, those are there for the sake of getting stuck here, but sometimes if you go further, you can find something else. That might be the case here. I don't know. I can't actually see. Um, it looks like there might be an area up to the top right. So let's save. No. And I wonder if these do damage you or they don't damage you here. Well, it's worth the excursion anyway, I'd say. I can cheat. Oh, okay, I can pick that up from there. Whatever. I wanted to, just wanted to see. Wanted to go on a little adventure. So, I mean, you can see he's all about these, which is obviously not something you can do in the original Doom because of the line, uh, line def limits. So that's giving more of like there's being a fault line, or it's, it's also just kind of vaguely metal and satanic. Here you got some s subtle steps. Okay, that opened up. Interesting. Let's use our rocket launcher on these guys. All right, this might help with, um, oh, okay. Oh man, I didn't want him to eat my... I don't know why I assume that the demons are him. I don't know, everything is very masculine in this game, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have a particular gender at all. A lot of people think that the spider mastermind is a woman or is genderless at the very least. I think all that had to do with like a misspelling in the manual, but still, I like to imagine. Wow, here's a cool cave setting. Let's not, uh, let's kill these guys before I die so that we can actually enjoy this view here. I'm gonna lose 
use all my ammo. Yeah, this is very nice. It's another map in no-ended sight that... It gives you a real sense of scale here. That's pretty impressive. And it's not... It doesn't show up on the auto map. You can hide sectors from the auto map so that uh, you can't see where you are. So this is interesting. It might teleport you if you go out that far. Um, or you might just die. Because sometimes in order to create a sense of scale, um, you can go out to these areas, but um, and they look infinite, but they'll just teleport you back. And also the fact that they're, it, we're running on some like you know hell type logic here. The idea of that being sort of a demonic teleporter is kind of interesting. So we got different levels, and these guys are on. This feels very modern in terms of. There's a lot of sort of modern slaughter maps that will start you off in a setting like this that has a large scale and, you know, different sort of tiered buildings on, um, in this, like, giant cavern. Yeah, this is definitely the most modern feeling of his map so far, just based on this intro, anyway. In terms of, like, modern Doom wads, particularly. Okay, we got a, something going on there. Let's see, but I wonder if it's really vanilla compatible. Yes, um, I think so. I think theoretically, anyway. Uh, no, no, I think uh, in terms of like sectors and stuff, it's not. I, I'm not sure. I've heard mixed things. I think you'd have to check on that. There's a version that supposedly is, but I think it's just like to run with like boom compatible instead of Z-Doom, or just limit removing, because it seems like, I don't know, but then again these levels are pretty small, but it seems like in terms of visibility this is not something you can do with vanilla Doom, so. Uh, what is going on here? I am a little scared of this. Oh, okay. I guess I just had to trust the designer. This is a much creepier sounding MIDI, and much less like action movie. Indicating that the settings are getting more mysterious. Oh, and this has revealed itself. Either that or it did earlier and I wasn't paying attention. Something is lowering here. Okay, so all of this is revealed now. I just heard something go down. Ah, there we go. So now we're on the outside here. That's very cool. And here we got another little, little walkway. I'm gonna cheese it so that we can pick that up. He's been very good about putting secrets there. I always like that kind of stuff. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, now I'm trying to remember where exactly I went. I appreciate that armor nonetheless. Hmm, that looks suspicious. Like birthday party skeleton. Hmm, okay. Well, might as well explore some of these new areas. I love this, this like folded door. You can make a door whatever you want in this game, and I feel like people aren't creative enough with their door shapes. I definitely could use that, so that's... I'm assuming teleporters or more guys will be coming down from those at some point. Fuck. Okay. Alright, let's stop fucking around now and go back to where I was. Fuck, okay. Yeah, okay. And then that, there was a stairway here that revealed. Cool. 
So we definitely still need some health, especially after I took that dive in the drink. Wait, does this just go back down here? Oh, never mind. No, that's where I came from, I think. Hmm. Interesting. And that was just a secret. All right, let's just run for it. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, clearly there's an area that I missed here. What is this place facing this way? Okay. I think I have been there, but... That looks like a door. Uh, I think textures just changed or something. All right, let's go back up here. Is this Undertale? Why, why do you ask? Okay, that just falls back down there. Uh, you need a limit removing port even with the combat version of the WAD because too many suckers, that's what Epio says. Um, fa the Fabulous J says these maps would have definitely scared young me even more than the original Doom did. Oh yeah, no question. I mean, the scale is just so much different now. Um, and, you know, uh, we're playing these with much higher resolution, so... Uh, that's also, you know, you can get away with more details and such. Oh, here's a little thing. I didn't notice that. Okay, cool. Let's use a little bit more. Yeah, a lot of precarity in terms of where you're walking in this set. It's really taking your sort of fast movement away. Oh fuck, I need to be paying attention. fighting each other now. Whatever. You're like a level monster. These guys, I hate fighting these guys with the single shotgun because you have to shoot them twice. They just feel like just too strong for it to be actually enjoyable. Wait, have I already picked up? Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Does this blood damage you? I'm about to find out. No. Okay. Sometimes blood damages you and sometimes it doesn't. It's always inconsistent. God damn it. I'm not doing a very good job of... Chainsaw. No plasma yet, although I think there was probably plasma in an earlier secret because I, in the previous map, because I definitely saw some plasma. Thank god when you see lost souls in this game, it just means that they're just by themselves and you don't have to freaking worry about a pain elemental, the most annoying enemy ever. So this is a nice little back area behind it's kind of these like kind of side areas where you're meant to kind of sneak through and let's try chainsawing this guy. Hell yeah. That was very satisfying. I saw that go down. Very nice little visibility. Now is it going to go back up is the question. No. Okay, that was a very nice little reveal for a secret there. Very nice. 
Because you can just see it at the corner. You can't go around, so I have to go around this way. What the fuck did that do? <laughs> okay. Well, it'll do something, I presume. I hear... noises. We are low on... Let's save before I take that kind of stupid risk. Okay, cool. So we don't got that. At least it's consistently always con <laughs> inconsistent. That's what Seven Soul says. Yeah, very true. Uh, on harder difficulty, there are two terrifying cyber demons shooting you wherever you're outdoors on this map, says Epio. Okay, well, I'm glad that I'm not playing on Ultra Violence. That would make it more slaughter mappy, to be honest. That would make it feel more like a modern Doom map, but I am content with not fighting those cyber demons right now. All right, so we picked up our yellow key, so we can go to this island over here. Let's try and minimize damage. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. It's that one. No, oh, wrong way. It's this one. Right, okay, I remember this. This also went down. Where does this go? Okay, it literally just goes right there. Presumably that's there for the sake of the cyber demons to mess with you, I presume. So like if a rocket goes through there, it'll just teleport around, or if the cyber demon's following you. I don't know. It's interesting though. Or maybe it'll have a use later that I just don't know. Okay, let's open this weird door. Here we're in skin zone. Need some antibiotic cream for, for this. I haven't been using my chain gun at all. Chain gun's actually quite a good weapon in Doom 1. When you were talking about lower level monsters. Fuck you. I ended up killing all those guys before I actually killed the Kakademia. Oh well. Get you. Okay, that just activates that lift. Oh fuck. Damn. I really ate it there. Uh, okay. I just handled that very poorly. Got sniped by some guys when I wasn't paying attention. Thought I was doing okay too. Try and do better this time. Waste a little bit less ammo. Oh, good thing that they're fighting amongst each other here. Okay. Fuck, let's not use that. I could chainsaw this guy if I felt like it. This is a good area for chainsawing. I'm glad they give you the chainsaw a little bit. A little bit back there. Okay. Now let's be actually prepared for this. See the thing? Yeah, that's the thing with hitscan enemies. They can, like, even though they're weak as hell, they can, like, really mess you up quickly. Oh, it telefrags one of the cyber demons. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. 
We're still at zero out of two secrets. I have not been good about looking for or finding secrets. But also, I'd probably be a little bit more willing to explore um, when I'm not streaming. Do, 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 do. Okay. Abaddon's Void. Well, we killed most of almost all the enemies. Unspeakable Persecution. Wow. Cannot be spoken of. Well, we're at E2M6, so, or E5M6, so I guess we might as well see how much further this goes. See how much further this rabbit hole goes. I haven't even looked at the number of viewers, but I kind of don't want to. Just rather concentrate on playing this. So we have, obviously, we got all these. We got this, which is very nice. I like that. Um, and some of this action going on, of course. We got some inverse, like some dark stuff. Oh, we got more of these shapes here. Obviously, these kind of details more associated with modern mapping, especially like this kind of stuff. It's actually less common to see these kind of shapes, but you, you'll see them. Um, yeah, so the hell is getting more and more kind of symbolic and abstract. I mean, I don't blame him, like, if I were using, um, you know, embracing all these engine limits for the first time, I would get really into, you know, making more uh, unusual shapes. Because that's the huge benefit of having the limits removed. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's pull this out. So I'm sure there's gonna be some fucker sniping us or something like that. So, because now that we're in complete pitch darkness, who knows what the hell is gonna happen. Okay, we picked up a med kit and another one. Cool. That careful walking paid off. I hear more cacodemons. demons. Ah, uh, here we go. Fuck. Let's carefully walk over here again. So where's our buddy here? Oh. It's just always fun to chainsaw things. Plus, um, who knows how much how ammo starved we're gonna be. So obviously this map is heavily using darkness here. Oh, interesting. It's actually showing us a light source here. Okay, let's pull back. Looks like these guys are teleporting in somewhere, maybe behind me. I'm gonna assume that, possibly. Cool. Ah, that's where they teleported. You could be an asshole and snipe, which we are going to do. <laughs> I mean, it gives you the option, right? This is the type of thing that modern Doom players frown upon doing. But also, it's a Baron. I'm gonna cheese the Baron if I want to. It's my party, I can cheese the Baron if I want to. Um. Oh, fuck. Damn right in front of my face. Okay, so we got an imp over here somewhere. This is dark. This is darker than modern mappers will go. Like, I am pretty surprised by this level. I'm not surprised, but it's pretty unusual to have this level of darkness in any sort of 
uh, modern map. Unless that's the focus of it. Why? Why would you do that? Wow, that that's definitely old school in terms of trapping you in a pit. Unless there's some way out that I don't know. I think that's just... You're just stuck in that pit. Damn. I'm hearing lifts, but I have no idea what's actually happening because everything is so dark. So, this is actually kind of a makeshift uh, light thing going on here. Oh, I see. Uh, which is an interesting... Oh my god, no! Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, okay. Well, that is stupid. Did you ever stream that Russian wand you wrote about? Yes, I did. I just didn't link the stream in the article, which is kind of hilarious, but it's on my YouTube channel. If you look at Doom Streams... Um, why can't I open this? If you look at Doom streams on my YouTube, it's just Ella Guro YouTube, Ella Guro, just look that up. And there's a Doom streams playlist and the alt stream is there. Um, so, yeah. So this did raise a little bit, but somehow, for some reason I can't open that. I don't know why. Oh, and for... I see, I see, I see. Quarantine is a great album. Oh, yeah, that's the... <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm more a fan of the, uh, the actual artist uh, that that's from than, than Laurel Halo, although Laurel Halo is fine. Um, Oh, okay, I can open that for some reason? Oh, weird, okay. I can't remember the name of the artist. But yeah, the original artist who did that, uh, the Japanese Goro artist, um, who did that picture that is the uh, cover of Quarantine by Laurel Halo is a good artist. Although Quarantine is a perfectly fine album, although it's not like, I'm not a huge Laurel Halo fan, so. Oh my god, that was very stupid, and I regret everything. You want to be cool, you want to impress your friends, you want to get on the bandwagon and start chainsawing some some creatures and then that's the price that you pay just the you know in this like world where everyone's concerned about FOMO and everything um, some things are just better left not you know you shouldn't you should not give in to peer pressure is all I'm saying in this world where like kids are so worried about you know not doing something to impress their friends um, it's important not to always chainsaw monsters, even if it makes a better Instagram video or Snapchat video. Um, so make sure to tell your friends that, because I think it is important. You need more, um, you need more people like the D.A.R.E. officers to, <laughs> that used to come to school, except, uh, encouraging kids not to do embarrassing things to themselves online. That's what I suspected, Ella. The album art is what made me want to listen to it. Yeah, I mean, it's a great cover. It's one of, probably an all-time cover, just because the, the artist. So this reminds me of, god, what is that set, Wonderland? I did like this joke video about Bioshock Infinite that I played a few levels of Wonderland in. Uh, this definitely feels pretty contemporary to... Wonderland is like this very abstract. The maps aren't like enormously well designed because they're filled with a lot of bullshit traps, but they look really cool. And this 
definitely reminds me of that in terms of overall shape and detail. I keep forgetting that I have a Berserk pack, which is uh, easier to use than a chainsaw. Oh, okay, let's save you. Is there any more guys that I can take care of with this lovely Berserk pack? Let's go this way. This is good because we can always use Marcel ammo. God damn it. Just making things a little bit easier for ourselves here, considering that this does not hurt us. I really like this though. I still think that me. Oh, god damn it! How far away are we? I still think that, um, um, that fourth level I think is still my favorite, the one that reminds me of the living end, um, just in terms of overall shape and stuff. Okay, that just went down. Personally, that's my favorite so far. Um, but this is quite nice too, especially this area. Trying to not... I could have just kept going there, but I just, like, I just hate it when I, like, uh, that's the thing about Doom. You can just make one misstep and then totally eat your thing that you probably can use really, probably is really important to use later. So I could, I could do this if I want to feel cool. So there's a teleporter over here, but I want to feel a little extra cool. So I'm going to do, oh my God. Well, not like that. Oh, okay. I guess you can't do that. Maybe the speed slows down when you're going over platforms like that. So this unleashed that area, but I've already been there. Let's go back to this. And let's just use the fucking teleporter that we were given here. Okay, so this is going around the barrier. I do not have that, but I do have this. Ah, uh, yes. The pleasant sounds of the plasma rifle. Okay, now we're doing the cool thing. There's even a wall here to prevent me from running over, which is very thoughtful. Good job, John Romero. Now are we inside? No, we're right outside. That sound that cacodemons make when they die. Need more cops to lie to me about music? That's what Skullgun says. Um, yeah. Well, it's important to have Instagram and uh, social media cops. <laughs> I don't really use Instagram, but I imagine kids like doing embarrassing things on Instagram and then uploading it. And that's the equivalent of chainsawing creatures. Like, like chainsawing this guy would not be a good thing right now. This is the perfect time to panic fire a plasma rifle. Okay, we're back here, so that's interesting. And you can see that whole area to the right was where I was just at. It looks very nice and clean on the map. Probably cleaned up the auto map a little bit. I'd, I would assume so, like all these lines are cleaned up from the auto map. Okay, this just goes back here. 
So there might have been an area on the side that we did not. So we picked up the red key. Ah, oh, yes, okay, there's red. No, but that was a while ago. So I think I need to go back up here. Oh, and there was a center that I did not go to. Because um, this opened up. Fuck, okay. Okay, I didn't think that there was anything over here, but it's nice to check. Let's just bring that back up. Sure, why not? This has like a tick-tocking percussion sound to it, this music. Yeah, that's not going to be easy, so... We'll go back through here and see if we missed anything. that teleporter there could always use that I think that's the only thing that's up here and this just probably is right below oh, okay yeah all right I just want to see if I'm missing anything did I need to hit any switches or anything Maybe I missed an area over here. Oh. There we go. Ah, yes. Okay, I think this is the end of the map. All right. Still no secrets. Wow. I think the secrets seem to be pretty well hidden, so... That's not too bad of a thing. Uh, now we're going to Nightmare Underworld, and we are at E5M7, so there should only be two more maps other than a secret map, um, unless this is nine. So we'll see. Um, sorry if you hear other noise on this mic. Um, the sound insulation is not very good in this. And I live in a noisy neighborhood because I live in New York City now, so. Um, all right. So I like this. This is very um, the end of the industrial zone. Map 15 of Doom 2, which is also by John Romero. Don't fuck around with those guys. I'm going to shoot. The oh, God. No. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I love this shape here. I love any curvy shapes. Okay, so we got monsters hidden by behind. Something that is often frowned upon. Although this context feels... It feels... Uh, decently appropriate. Uh, we got these shapes. Something a lot of modern mappers do. I like this, though. I love this curvy shapes. I love any of these sort of curvy shapes. Um, I only got guys that we can snipe out here a little bit. One doom secret is that... Um, I think the first bullet of a uh, chain gun is like 100% accurate like always hits or your target I'm not sure about that or is like a lot more accurate than the other bullets so if you just like pump the chain gun it's actually a really good sniping weapon as you can see um, but if you just like fire okay I'm not gonna do that because I'm running out of ammo but you get the idea it's a little bit of a cheap hack but you know Something you could probably figure out on your own, anyway. We got a secret. That was a pretty easy to get secret. We, we have, of course, copious amounts of this texture, so it's clear that this is the texture theme of Sigil that we got. 
We don't want those guys to mess with us at all. Because hit scanners are no joke when they're sniping at you. We got a little area over here. What, the, what could that be? Another secret. Okay, being a little bit more adventurous, or these secrets are easier to find. Okay, I hear the lift going up and down over there, though. I could always use a secret like that, so. A lot of, like, areas that are crucial that you sort of have to sneak behind, so it feels like you're not necessarily going on a critical path, but you're always snaking around a lot of things. That's kind of the thing that I would say is different about these maps from maybe some of his other maps. There's a lot of snaking around things. I think, I think that's one of the things that having a higher resolution um, helps with. Because maybe with the original, they were always concerned about visibility to the player, and you know the size of the monitors would be different. Um, but now you can there's just more information on the screen. The resolution is higher, so you can see more easily that this is a place that you can go. That's what I would guess. The first two bullets are perfectly accurate. There we go. Thank you, Jimmy. This is Jimmy 12? Is that Jimmy? I think that's a different Jimmy. I don't know. Maybe it's Jimmy uh, who did the middies for this. Uh, okay. All right, I need to go somewhere else. Let's actually save, okay. Can I? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Can I even do anything with this? Or is this just a... Oh, fuck, okay. I think that's just trim. It's cool. The idea that you could run around on that is neat, though. Oh, there's literally just a key right here. Okay, fuck you. him off with a... Okay, it did not handle that well. Okay, something active. Oh, there we go. That, like, chainsaw sound effect that they make. Uh, no relation to the musician. Okay, no problem. I didn't think so. I thought his account was a different name. Uh, okay, so it looks- oh fuck. I didn't mean to step in there. Oh wait. I will take that. I was gonna say, I was looking for green armor and then I just teleported and got blue armor. Damn. Something happened over there. I think there's still an imp alive. Okay, so we have red key now. Now we have to be careful with health. Because I haven't been very careful. Ah, uh, here we go. I missed that one. This texture is definitely hard to perceive staircase, but it, it matches with the lava. It's like, you know, a lava type of texture, because it's like a lava rock called ash wall. There's different ash wall textures, but that's one of them. That might be the only one in Doom 1. Oh, I like this part of the music. Definitely do not need that. Could use that. So dark. There we go. Let's see if we can 
chainsaw this guy. Cool. All right. We handled that pretty well. I don't know why I keep saying we, but you know. <sighs> oh, nice. This uh, is very much like the first map. This also reminds me of the beginning of like a Memento Mori. And we got the full hell going on, of course. That's, you know, that's the difference of having the chain gun there to snipe. really plink away at those guys really quickly. I'm pretty sure Lost Souls can infight. They're like the one monster that can infight with themselves. Although I'm not positive of that. I'm pretty sure that's true. I've seen, I've seen them kill themselves before. Like kill, not like literally commit suicide, but like kill other monsters of their type before. This is cool. This nice little... Um, I wonder if you can go down here. Probably not. Doesn't look like there's anything down here, so I'm not going to do that for now. Let's unleash the Cacodemons. Oh, he does have stalactites. I misspoke. Wow. Ah, yes, we have the chunky stalactites. They're not as um, noticeable here because the texture is different. Um, it, it blends in a little bit more, but still, that's funny. I made fun of the chunky stalactites and then we, we have them right here. Okay, what was the point of all of that? That was the point. Let's back up. Fuck. Cool uh, walkway area. Very nice. Okay, we got a bunch of bunch of teleporting happening right now. Let's save. Oh fuck! Panic fire. Well, I have plenty of shotgun ammo now. Uh, thank you for hosting me, John Sweet Pea. I just noticed that. Um... Fuck. Okay, this opened up. Um, let's go here. <laughs> if you see something that is open that wasn't previously open, and you don't know if it's going to stay open, then just run. <laughs> it's a general, like, doom tip, I guess. Ooh, a coffin. Oh fuck. Just what I needed. A lot of hit scanners when I'm super low on health. Slightly better now. Oh fuck, I'm an idiot. That's a nice little teleporter fall there. It's like falling into a void. Oh, there's actually a, a teleporter there. So we're not getting fully into abstract. We're not going, getting fully into abstract logic yet, where you just walk into an area that's a teleporter. Because there is actual actually a teleporter pad. Oh, I love this. This is like the chasm except for like <laughs> a windy platform. Okay, and there's some platforms down here, but I won't, don't really want to risk it. Well, that's good, especially on low health. Cool section there. Mercifully brief.
This might be my favorite music track. It's kind of different. We've got a maze going on here. These like designated mazes where you just fight like with a chainsaw in close quarters combat is not something that I feel like you see a lot in modern modern Doom maps. It's something I associate more with the originals. Alright, let's bring this out in case we need to start shooting at something. waste all my plasma. This coffin makes me think of Memento Mori. It's the kind of like, you know, thing that people would do in that the Doom set Memento Mori. There's like one with like a dead trooper or something. One level with that and there's like there's some other references like that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was referencing Memento Mori, because it's a very well-known Doom set, but still, it's kind of an unusual thing to reference. I'm, well, it's not an unusual thing to reference for Doom mappers, but it's not necessarily something I would expect John Romero to reference anyway. All right, okay, we're back over here. I think this is the other side of a platform we were on. And I think I just hurt myself or got shot by somebody. So this is not any good, but we're gonna save with 8% because I'm being stupid. This looks like this might be a secret here. What a secret, wow. Single cliff. Fuck, okay, that was my fault. Let's try going from this side. Maybe it'll make a difference. I heard a platform at, uh, activate. Oh, well, that's not very good either. I don't know where there's more health. What am I getting? You motherfucker. I not die. That was insane. Clearly I'm on some kind of luck here, so let's just keep it going. Wow, and I didn't die from that either, so clearly the universe has blessed me right now. Blessings are over. This is uh, Alfonso from Doom World. Used to stream more frequently. Um, used to say. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm waiting to get down to 1% to say it, but anyway, it says 1% save the game. this midi. It's a little Final Fantasy-ish, maybe. Oh, fuck. God. This has become like a, a, 
a you die in one hit Contra type game. I did not handle my health well in this level at all. Where did this guy come out from? Fuck you, okay. And I don't even have the yellow key yet. Wow, that's the ending. If I can figure out where the freak the yellow key is. Oh my god. Okay, there's a red key door over there, but it looks like I've already been over there. Oh, what? F okay. Yes, please, God. Okay, I'm sure there's some secrets and stuff that I've missed. I'm sure I could get more health, but I'm just gonna cut my losses and die. Just shooting him in the back like an asshole. right here right where this corpse is yeah interesting key placement there yes mixing it up but there is that nice surprise here I don't have a BFG yet so and maybe he expects that like me going to be on very low health. <laughs> I think this is also a death pit if you don't fall to the side. So we're bringing back death pits, I guess. <laughs> Unless I'm missing something. I thought I saw you picking up a BFG. Oh, you most certainly did, and I completely forgot about it until you just mentioned it there. There we go. We'll take it. Nightmare Underworld, Halls of Perdition. This might be our last map here. Endless E5M9 um, is going to be our last map. You know what, fuck you guys. Fuck all y'all. These guys have tormented me enough. Oh, and now they're teleporting over here. Well, this is just it's just wonderful. I'm going to save at 9% like a true true pro. Yes, please fight each other. Oh my god. Okay, I can probably afford to not do this with them. Especially if there's a big cluster. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. chain gun for pistol start I presume okay I'll take it please fight each other that is so thankful of you for doing that I'll take it oh fuck nice little sun symbol there 
some of these details, they're not the type of details that you would necessarily see a modern mapper make. Um, so there's something different about it. It's hard to explain. I mean, I, mostly that the, these scenarios are based around, like, not necessarily being hyper difficult as much as, like, um, each scenario, each, like, combat scenario has a different character to it. If that makes sense. Please fight each other. I don't have time for you to not fight each other, thank you. I don't like it if you fight. Oh fuck, what am I doing here? Why are you still alive? Okay. Oh, apparently he didn't get damaged very much. Okay, there we go. Well, 3% save the game. Okay, obviously there's a secret that lets you get out there somehow. That's where we started. I will take it. Who's shooting? A lot of darkness in this set in general. Oh my god, I need that so bad. Let's do it again. Another thing that I very desperately need is in this pit, but first. These guys maybe. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoa. <laughs> Just for a little stim pack, huh? Okay, we have tons of. Okay, here's the perfect time for the BFG. Let's just get down here so we can do this. I like this music. I appear have I appear to have arrived really late, but Google servers didn't start working on my end until this late. Well thank you for coming, AE2501 Math. we get up there so obviously nice little thingies <laughs> kind of wordless right now uh, that's always the thing with any kind of streaming you always like end up start starting to space out towards the end of the stream just concentrate. Alright. How do we get over there? Uh, no, I already been over here. It was through that part of portal. Um, and that just goes back through that. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The stream killer, Fire Blue. Eat some of that, please.
Oh my god, where am I going here? Okay, it looks like- it appears that there might be some sort of staircase over here. Wait, what's this? Entrance to somewhere that I'm missing. There's a tele. Oh my god. My eyes, says Epio. Yep, that's what you get when you have fire blue. Was there a lift or something that activated here that I'm just missing? I don't know actually how to get back up there now that I dove down. I don't know, actually. I'm confused. Maybe I need to go from that end? Okay, let's try this. No. Wait, what's this? How did I get over there? Urge to backseat increasing. Okay, just hold on. Give me another few minutes. And then if I'm still struggling, then let me know what I'm missing here. I mean, obviously I found my way there the first time, so I'm clearly just missing something here. This was that teleporter. I go there. That one isn't labeled on the map for some reason. Whereas, like, clearly there's a teleporter over there that I teleported to somehow. I am missing something here, obviously. Did I activate something? And there was a lift or something? Was that opened up? Uh, if you have any tips, let me know. Because I'm clearly missing something and I don't know exactly what. I mean, I made it there the first time, so... Clearly, I... What am I doing wrong? I want to see your descent into madness. Jesus. So mean. Um, yeah, please just let me know what I'm missing here, because I don't fucking know. Oh. My god. Was there just a staircase? That's the thing. Everything is so damn dark. It's hard to see. See, I, I found it completely the first- I think I even made a comment about how dark it was. If you roll back the video, <laughs> there will be a comment about, Wow, this is pretty dark. This set is pretty dark, huh? Alright. We're continuing as if nothing ever happened. All because I wanted some green armor. Oh, okay. Well, this is how to get that, I guess. Okay, we're probably about to fight something here. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, maybe they were supposed to infight with each other? <laughs> Oops. Well, we're at the end, so... I'm gonna use any and all BFG that I have. Oh, and of course there's an invulnerability sphere. 
And there's one more enemy, so we will definitely take that. Oh, okay. Interesting. I know I went around it like seven times. It's just hard to see. Okay. Baphomet was only doing Satan's bidding by bringing you back to hell. Somehow they didn't understand that you're the reason they failed in the first place. After mopping up the place with your arsenal, you're ready to face the more advanced demons that were sent to Earth. Lock and reload, rip and tear. So I, I suppose this is going into Doom 2. So I've been playing through, almost finished with Doom 2, um, vanilla Doom 2 without a source port on my YouTube channel, so check that out. This will also be uploaded to my YouTube channel. It's just Ella Guru, um, Y-L-L-A-G-U-R-O. Um, and I'm almost done playing through Doom 2. So definitely check that out. Yeah, this was very nice. It was kind of like, it almost give, it almost like whets your appetite for something more. Um, I mean, that is probably as good as you could have expected it to be. Um, with the limitation of it being one episode and it, you know, being limited around a particular set of textures and everything. But I really recommend if you want something that has some of that original flavor, but is expanded and more sort of bi is bigger, um, please check out noendinsight.wad. I can't recommend that wad enough. Actually, I could put a link to it too. Um, so levels, John Romero. Music, Buckethead, MIDI James Paddock, of course, thanks to Boris Climes Zazer, who worked on No End in Sight, and Kurt Brumgardner. Cool. Well, that's Sigil. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, I don't really have any really thing to add, but um, this will be on my YouTube check out um youtube.com uh, slash elogaro or users or whatever just google it or it's also in my on my website if you want to see those doom 2 videos and this will be also up on youtube and i'll probably try and do streaming maybe i'll try and stream no end in sight or something else like that i don't know i just wanted to play this on stream first uh, before I played it anywhere else so that I could have some reactions. Um, where's the chat? Here. Uh, yes. A22501 Maith says, looking forward to seeing what I missed on the YouTube upload, lol. Um, Seven Souls says, the one map you made before this was pretty good too. There were actually two maps, um, E2 or E1M8B and E1M4B, so. Those are both, if you Google those, you'll find them. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Thanks for, um, who was hosting me? John Sweet P and uh, Nina Hentai PhD for hosting. Um, yeah, and hopefully we'll be doing more of these in the future. Anyway, yes, thank you for linking it. Uh, NES, well, or at least you can Google NES, NEIS.wad. Um, and thank you so much for tuning in. I will. I hope you all have a good evening slash late afternoon slash whatever time it is there uh, where you're watching this. So in any case, uh, I bid you farewell.